Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today I will be focusing on the food safety and hazards. So this uh, is one of the basic topics and uh, it is included in many of the competitive exams which is related to food and read courses. Uh, so So the first thing is food safety hazards. What are food safety hazards? By definition, it is a food safety hazard it refers to any agent with the potential to cause adverse health consequences for consumers. Giving common example is that if you are walking, if you are walking through a walking through a road, so if you if you if someone meets with an accident, so by hitting with a car. So the potential to cause the any of the eff health effect related to it is called as hazard. It will it will be like whether the in the the man or the woman hit by the car will be injured, severely injured, minorly injured, or nothing will happen. If, or this will be the three cases. So the potential threats or what what will be the potential cause related to the uh, uh, related what will be the potential outcome I would say related to the uh, consequence which has occurred. And that is known as hazard. So in common food language also, if we take any, any example, if suppose someone consumes a food which is infected or is intoxicated with the uh, bacterial toxins. So what is the what? So here the hazard is that what adverse health effects will it cause to the consumer who are the or the person who has consumed the food, whether he he or she will be fine or whether he he or she will get uh, food poisoning. Or he, he or she will get food intoxication, and what will be the, the consequences of that? High fever, diarrhea, vomiting, etc. So this is what is known as hazard. And hazard, it is then uh, it is uh, classified into for now into in, into classified. It is classified into five major factors. So first is physical, chemical, biological, allergens, and psychosocial. So these are one of the five uh, safe food safety hazards, which would cause, uh, which would may or may not cause adverse health effects. I would say. So first to start with is the biological hazard. So the biological hazard, as the slide mentions, is uh, bacteria. It is caused due to bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. So anything which is related to uh, which is related to microbiome uh, what we call is uh, micro uh, microbes is known as biological hazard so some of the examples like if we take a common uh, the biological bacterial intoxication which is uh, caused like we got the foodborne intoxication due to bacillus cereus we got campylobacter jejuni so clostridium botulinum so botulinum escherichia coli so these are one of the these are the examples which cause the uh, uh, which cause adverse health effects or we may say that bacterial uh, foodborne intoxication to the consumer so these are the examples of bacteria we have fungi also uh, fungal toxins like we got mycotoxin etc so this was all about the biological hazards so this is I have mentioned that back what uh, types of uh, pathogens or spoilage organisms there are two types and then the pathogens are here subclassified into bacteria viruses parasites fungi and which may lead to foodborne illness illnesses and somewhat other factors which we may consider like it may not cause uh, a health hazard to, uh, to much much extent but it may lead to uh, spoilage of the uh, food commodity like it may tear the food commodity may get uh, unpleasant get unpleasant smell or taste which is not uh, which is not its characteristic we, uh, for example the milk might get milk getting sour is one of the example like it the milk taste with the characteristic uh, taste of the milk is sweet somewhat like at, it is sweeter but if we uh, consider spoilage if it, there is a spoilage causing organism then food may turn into sour, it, the test may turn into sour. So this is the example of spoilage organism. Next coming is the chemical hazards. So chemical hazards are many. 
like if you start from detergents the detergents used for the cleaning of uh, equipments and uh, containers which are used to keep the food or uh, used to process the food the sanitizers also pesticides talking about pesticides we can take example of pesticide residue the uh, how pesticides are uh, affecting the uh, the food quality or the food quality or how they are becoming a hazard during the uh, during the cultivation of the uh, of the crops or fruits and vegetables farmers try to the farmers spray pesticides on it but your but the thing is that when these pesticidal dose exceeds the best or the optimum limit the pesticides remain on the on the crop and they they turn into a residue so these residues are they key they, key, they are deposited in the food and uh, then when the uh, when the consumer or the when the human they he or she eats that food gets uh, get indirectly uh, gets uh, indirectly he or she eats the uh, pesticides also and due to which uh, as pesticides are they, they are chemically based and they are not good for health the, uh, there is a adverse health effect and uh, prolonged health effect may also lead to cancer so the, there is this is the reason why there are many uh, nowadays there are many cases of cancer and one of the main reasons is uh, is consuming of the uh, fruits and vegetables or the crops which are uh, rich in pesticides or uh, we can say that it has got a huge amount of the pesticidal residues and also uh, some of the toxins which are commonly released by the plants itself and the medications used in it so these are the chemical hazards so natural compounds as i mentioned is the mycotoxin toxins from shellfishes toxins from uh, toxins from plants so these are the common uh, uh, toxins which are uh, which are uh, uh, which are released by the food itself so this uh, this example uh, these are the examples of the natural natural compounds like uh, the if we take example of shellfish the selfish poisoning syndromes are like they are the people get uh, paralytic there is a diarrhea or neurotoxic so this is one of the reasons why uh, the selfish should be consumed uh, very cautiously man made chemicals are xenobiotics so first of all is i would like to tell you that what is uh, xenobiotics or what is the meaning of xenobiotics so xenobiotic is one of the chemical substance uh, that are Uh, that are uh, not present in our body or in the human body and uh, they come through one of the any of the sources uh, which the human consumes like plant uh, plant drugs or uh, as i earlier said the pesticides food additives which are present in the food so these are the the xenobiotics which are extern which externally come into the human body next is the agricultural residue and the heavy metals you all know so coming towards the physical hazards physical hazards you name it and you will get number of examples of that like metal shaving cans wood fingernails hairs you you some, one can blindly tell like what is uh, what uh, what are the physical hazards so but then then also the physical hazards are those hazards which are uh, which are uh, which come into the food in a physical nature like uh, the like some hazards or addition of uh, bangles staples some glass jewelry the hairs of the uh, food handler nails etc these are the physical hazards so physical hazards like natural as i told is the uh, it can be classified as uh, flies or insects which come or the hairs the stones or debris of the pest or we can also say the debris of uh, uh, the uh, the if someone is treating of wheat wheat is turning in wheat is uh, turned into flour so the uh, the broken grains or husk of the uh, husk of the wheat these are the natural uh, physical hazards and accidental is many things any jewelry part if someone is wearing a jewelry say as a one foot handler is wearing a ring in his hand and uh, accidentally it gets into the food uh, the food product so the, this is one of the examples of accidental uh, physical hazards and here i have mentioned some of them allergens like i will first of all i will tell you like what is uh, what are the allergens 
so allergens are the compound so this uh, these comp the compounds which uh, which lead to allergy or which lead to some of the con some of the consequential effects or uh, after eating that many people are uh, uh, we can the other word we can say is the antigen antigen uh, most uh, most often eaten or inhaled and uh, that is recognized by human system and it causes an allergic uh, reaction uh, common examples dust pollens many people are uh, allergic to dust we uh, we the moment they inhale the dust they start sneezing so this is example of allergens and uh, likewise there are various examples in uh, food also which uh, which lead to allergens uh, and uh, some of the examples i have mentioned here are like peanuts uh, fishes so shellfish is one of the examples mustard so people are prone to allergy allergens it is not that all people uh, suppose someone eats cereals we take example of cereals containing gluten nowadays there are many many people who are gluten intolerant they they start getting some of the this uh, some of the other uh, uh, they, this orders uh, after consuming the uh, uh, after consuming uh, any of the gluten rich uh, compounds like uh, they get uh, they get they they start getting tired they get they get gases they feel their stomach is bloated so these uh, this is one of the examples of cereals containing uh, gluten and like they are allergic to it there there are some people who are also lactose intolerant lactose intolerant intolerant they are allergic to milk so these are the examples of allergens now one of the major uh, or we can't say major hazard but this is considered as a hazard by some group of people some group of people like uh, psychosocial hazard so psychosocial is the hazard or yeah, is a thing or is a process it is a state it is a mental state for example actually this these things don't affect the food or don't change the characteristic of the food but there are some mental beliefs of the people who eat that like this is not best or this is not better for this for this commodity but if we speak technically if we if we speak scientifically there is a no there is no harm in the uh, to the food or there is no change in characteristic of the food due to this the, this thing it is just the mental state of the people for example is lard for, lard fat, lard that is fat from pigs it is added to the uh, some of the fats into some of the fats but it does not change the characteristic of the food or that particular food but the thing is that uh, there are india is a first of all india is a very good country india has got rich culture into it Uh, uh, every religion has got its so important values and uh, important cultures and they are to be respected but the thing is that uh, sometimes it is not accepted by any of the community or any of the religion it is uh, it is not wrong it is that these are the traditions and these are meant to be followed but the thing is that these uh, like ek for example fat from pigs so it is not harmful to any of the human body but it is not accepted at some extent or it is not accepted by someone so this is the psychosocial hazard like method of animal sacrifice the, there is a very uh, jhatka method or halal method some follow halal method some follow jhatka method something that jhatka is not good and something halal is not good but, but scientifically speaking uh, the these methods like halal if you take example it is, it is widely followed in many uh, in entire part of the world like due to which there is a good uh, uh, blood flow the blood comes out of the uh, if, uh, out of the meat or the chicken and uh, the entire blood we can remove due to it so this is the scientific reason for using halal but somewhat at some extent or some of the some of the people they don't accept hazard uh, halal as one of the methods for the animal sacrifice instead they prefer uh, jhatka method so this is one of the examples you can say through to uh, to uh, like any of the method is good any of, some, some needs to follow jhatka some need then they follow halal but there is no change in the uh, food characteristic if you follow any of the system so this is one of the other example of psychosocial like it is it does not harm the main characteristic value of the food instead it is a mental health or the mental belief of the people which is followed 
and due to which it leads to they they feel like this is an hazard to the food commodity so this is called a psychosocial hazard so that's all friends uh, this was all about the uh, hazards uh, i hope you uh, you like the session and uh, if you if you have liked the session please uh, if you share it subscribe it do like the video and uh, share it maximum so that we uh, we can come up with more and more such uh, informational videos thank you